Gina Rigoni, Food Director of Family Circle Magazine, and I'm also a registered dietitian. I'm here to show you how to pack a healthy lunchbox. The first thing we're going to start with is fruit. Very important to get your kids to eat fruits and vegetables because unfortunately, kids today are not getting enough. They're usually only getting one serving a day when they need three to four. So the best way to start them is 100% fruit juice. If you take one of these little boxes and freeze it the night before, this acts as a really great cooler for your lunch box. So I'm going to put that in there nice and frozen to keep that cool. The next thing is vegetables. Now vegetables are really tricky. Lots of kids don't want them. So I try to make it as fun as possible by offering a little plastic container full of sweet vegetables like carrots, red pepper strips, tomatoes, and dip. Dip is super important because kids like to dip things in and I recommend ranch dressing or hummus. If that doesn't work, Pepperidge Farm is coming out with these garden cheddar goldfish. And these are equivalent to a third of a vegetable serving. So that's a really quick, easy way to get some vegetables and a snack into your kid's lunchbox. After that, let's go for some calcium. Most kids aren't drinking milk anymore, so what's a fun way to get calcium in there? Yogurt. Um, if you get a yogurt, freeze it in the refrigerator or freezer the night before. It's nice and cold. You can put that in there and it'll stay cold. There are also the um, yogurts in the tube that work really well. Kids tend to love those. Or if you want just a little small cheese, it's a good hit of calcium. Now finally, we're going to end up with the main dish, which is going to be usually a sandwich. Most kids are really comfortable with that. I am going to do a soy nut sandwich, soy nut butter sandwich, because a lot of schools today don't allow peanut butter. So soy nut butter is really a great replacement. It's high in protein, and it also has that same texture of peanut butter. One of the things I learned, first of all, is to look for whole grain bread. You know, look for bread. There's plenty of them out there where the first ingredient is whole wheat. And also wraps work really well, too. Kids love wraps. And one of the tricks I learned is when you do peanut butter or soy butter is to put it on the sandwich, both sides first. And you're looking for about maybe two tablespoons. That's a serving size and that's gonna give you enough that's gonna keep your child full for the afternoon. And why we're doing this first without the jelly is because this is a really super great way to keep lunches from getting soggy. And there is nothing worse than a soggy lunch for a kid. So the peanut butter goes on both sides and now we have this really great jelly which I just found out about. It's a squeeze jelly. So it keeps things from getting sticky. So we'll put a little bit of that in the middle. And you know what? You can actually cut these in fours. A lot of times kids find it easier to eat little, little bites of it because you know they'll be able to have half now, half for later. A lot of kids unfortunately don't get enough time to eat their lunch in school. So maybe you can put them in these little snack packages and you can have half for now and then half for after school. So there we have it. A really full, great lunch box, perfect for any age child or even for you. This is also a great combination of foods if you want to take your lunch to work and save some money and eat much better in the process. For these tips and more, pick up our Family Circle September issue. It's got tons of back to school ideas and lots of great recipes.